Welcome, my friends, to the seventh episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Platinum Push series. In this series, we choose one character and see how far up the ladder we can climb. And currently, we are rocking the Yami Yugi. We are destroying with him. Our current record is 17 wins and 4 losses. We are currently gold 2, shooting for gold 3. Now, just like the last video, I want to start out by doing a pack opening. Just another 10 packs. And then from there, we'll jump right into the P vs. P and get crunching. Accidentally hit the little secret uh, jewel spot there. If you guys don't know, there are four secret jewel spots, um, one on each location of the map. The first is above the store, the second is in the garbage can, the third is on the lamppost, and the fourth is the fountain. We got some shiny going off right off the bat. Some intense eyes, what can it mean? A twin-headed behemoth. I already have a couple of those, at least one, maybe two. Okay, so the ones that don't give us anything flashy, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot through right away. We got that one last video. Ooh. Bam. The Kickman, Raging Earth, and Black Pendant. Yes. Yes. I've been wanting this card. This is one of the main reasons I've been purchasing these packs is I've wanted the black pendant really, really, really bad. Super, super good card. Um, I've lost because people had that card before. So I'm really excited about that. Let's see if we can also get a gravity axe or maybe another ultra in this one pick. Element Saurus, not bad. And this one pull. Okay. Already, I am quite happy. Um, that last card, that desk counterplow, I have a cool deck built around it. That's that's pretty fun. Um, definitely not top tier by any means. Lycanthrope, awesome. I wanted more Lycanthrope, so I'm really excited about that. This has been a great pull. Wow. Woo! It's been a while since I had a pull that got me, got me really excited. What do we got here? Nothing fancy. I'm just gonna cut that open. Zoom through really quick. Okay. I actually wanted to check on this desert one real quick. All monsters on your side. Okay. If it was the opposite side as well, that would have been really cool. But it's not. Ah, oh, black pendant. Ugh. Oh, yes. Let's actually pop into our deck and see if there's a place for the black pendant. Okay, we could pull out the Sword of Deep Seated. Um, I honestly don't know which one of those two is better. Sword of Deep Seated is kind of cool because it can come back, but that's also both a blessing and a curse. Um, hmm. What a good deck. I love looking at this deck. It's awesome. You know what? We gotta try it out. I love the sort of deep seated. I want it in my decks, but we gotta try out. I mean, I just got a new ultra rare black pendant. There's no way it cannot be in my dueling today. It has to be there. We're gonna win a game with it today, and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, super excited about that. We got the the card pack opening done. Let's move on to the battling portion of the day. I'm just going to jump right into it as always. I'm going to drink some water here real quickly with my grown man sippy cup. That's all these camelback things are. It's just sippy cups for adults. Going against a Yami Yugi, maybe we're going to have a mirror match with the Yamis on the field. Generally, because I, I built my deck so specifically around it, that is an advantage for me. But if my opponent did as well, it makes for some interesting games. Okay, we pulled out the ever-broken rear Roku. The ever-consistent reinforcements. And the beautiful Arsenal Summoner. Who I'm going to... Mm, tough decision. 
I'm gonna normal summon. If I had anything to pull out, if there was anything that went well with this deck that he could search, oh my gosh. That would be unbelievable. <clears throat> if he could search another 1800 beater uh, spellcaster, that would be so good. Alright, what's his plan here? His plan is the Banner of Courage. The Banner of Courage is, is not bad, but it's like a it's like a poor man's wonder balloons. I'm curious what he goes for here. If he goes for Yami, that's silly. If he goes for a Shard of Greed, that's annoying, but not... Okay, annoying, but not the worst thing ever. If I draw into another monster that isn't Dark Magician Girl next turn, I'm going to win. Unless he has a Sphere Kribo in his hand. Reinforcements is ever consistent. That is a very staple card I have in my decks, and it always just seems to mess people up. Okay, let's see if I draw into a monster. Please do. I don't, which is fine. Um, can't have every win given to me second turn, like last uh, episode, which was so cool. I was super excited about that. Talking about this Golden Apples, man, I didn't even know how good it was. It has great synergy with both Joey's Grit and Yugi's um, the Yami because no matter what they hit me with, I'm going to get a monster back stronger by 200 points. It's so good. Um, and with Joey, I had this crazy moment. He has this ability called Grit where if he might die, he goes to one life point instead. And I was like, oh, I lost. Um, I get hit with like a 3,000 beater, flip over the, and my life points go to one, and then I flip over the, the golden apples, and my life points go to 3,000 and one, and I ended up winning that game. It was awesome. So he does have Wonder Balloons, so he's bringing the Banner of Courage and the Wonder Balloons, this guy. Oh, I apologize about that. I thought I turned off the notifications. <clears throat> I wonder what that came from. I'm, I need to figure that out. Oh, wow. Any tosses? Wow. Dangerous, dangerous. So if you guys don't know, when this Needle Sunfish goes to the graveyard, it minuses 500 points from one monster on your side of the field. Man, this guy has a pretty cool deck. It's not completely built around the, the Yami, which means I probably will have the advantage at the end of the day, unless I can't draw into a monster and I just die in the next couple turns um, but wow he has some good cards okay ending my turn I'm gonna rely on the golden apples um, to save to save me because it's so good um, depending on what he attacks into I'll flip it for the stronger monster okay so 1900 that's 3500 I'd die unfortunately. So hopefully he attacks with the stronger one first. He does not, so I have to pop it. This was really unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Had he attacked with the other one, I would have gotten a stronger monster up, and he wouldn't have been able to. Ah, I love golden apples with Yami. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I never can get over how good that is. I'm really happy with that. Again, I thought I was going to lose, and I didn't. And that's always exciting. So I'm going to hit him hard this turn, and probably win. So, Rear Roku is super, super broken, because it's basically attacking their life points directly, and getting over whatever monster you want for free. Plus a Black Pendant. Oh, we did get to use it, and for the killing blow, Ugh. life is good. So good game, solid game. You had a great deck, you played it well, um, I just had a sharper deck. Especially with your Yami on the field, your Yami ended up helping me more than it helped you. Oh, golden apples, Yami, double Yami, so good. Cannot get over it.
So, we got our first win for the day. Let's see if we can continue our hot streak and get two more. Jumping right into the next game. We are now 18 wins, 4 losses. What a record. I, I'm happy with that. And even one of those losses was absolutely bonkers. If you haven't seen that, my first video last match was a bonkers match. That's episode one of the Platinum Push. Going against a Pegasus, meaning we're going to have the attack advantage, but he is going to have the ever cool... Um, I'm just going to set an Arsenal Summoner. He, he's going to know. I think he had Mind Scan, if I saw it correctly. He's going to know what that is. Um, I'm actually doing it more as a bait to maybe I'm going to pull a monster out of my deck, even though I'm not. Um... It's more so just, uh, okay, so he goes for the D-Spell. That's okay. Um, he has to waste a card to do that, even though it does make us way more equal than what we would have been. Nice. So Leotar, as I've mentioned in the past, is a pretty good counter to this deck, but I have the Black Pendant. Yes! So I'll be able to get over him, no problem. Shooting Star Bow, bow Seal as well. Um, I'm going to hold off on that one though and save it for later so he's gonna lose 100 life points here and a monster and then it just comes down to what he does next a shard of greed it's always nice to see players using Shard of Greed and, and taking advantage of draw power, because draw power is really, really good. I get the feeling that this face down monster is not an effect monster. It might be, and if so, well played, but yeah. Um All I can say there is like there's some instincts that happen with I can't explain it other than there's Yu-Gi-Oh instincts and that was a moment where those came into play. Okay, so he's in trouble unless he has a four-star Ladybug of Doom face down right now. That has to be a four-star Ladybug of Doom. Or he's in trouble. It is not. He's in trouble. Didn't get a chance to throw out his... To get his... Um, Shard of Greed draws. Beat him too quickly. Quick second game. Ah, oh, I love being on fire. I love it. That is 19 wins. Four losses. We're on something like, I don't know, some dumb number of wins in a row. Guys, I love this game. I love it. Ugh. Okay, we're going into our third match right away. Let's see if we can get another three out of three wins. Two videos in a row. I am feeling myself. Woo! Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith is so good. And we both will gain a rank in this battle. I'm going second. I'm excited about that. Bandit Keith is... Let me talk a little bit about Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith has an ability called Switcheroo, which gives you kind of a draw advantage type ability. Now, in the current game, I'd say... The field spells that other people get are as good as Bandit Keith's. But the thing is, is as the game gains more cards, Bandit Keith is going to be consistently a top tier. Always. Always, always, always. Whereas there's going to be fluctuations with the basically how important an attack stat is, which is the same as how important is a field spell card. Okay, taking a look at our hand, we have a lot of support. And not a lot of monsters, which is a little bit scary. But, I'm going to go ahead and set these two. I'm not going to scout with the D spell. I am going to get aggressive early and find out what kind of person we're playing against here. Four star Ladybug of Doom, one for one trade. Oh my guys, three stars! Ooh! We get a plus one there, and I didn't even know that was happening. Unfortunate for him, super fortunate for us. Man! That makes me like Frontier Wiseman just a little bit more. Um, I was thinking he had no purpose above Rogue Doll, but that kind of showed me differently. This is the switcheroo I was talking about. 
doesn't matter if it's a ritual deck, a beatdown deck, whatever deck you're rocking, that is a consistently good ability. When in doubt, ha use Bandit Keith because he's so good. Ooh, going against a sort of deep seated. I'm not super worried about that. Um, he's gonna get over me, but I can rear Roku. I mean, all I have to do is draw into a monster, which. This shows how important it is to have a 20 card deck because I'm asking for a percentage chance of getting a card right now. Oh no, devastating. Devastating. Um, what are you gonna do guys? What are you gonna do? I don't have anything. Um, I, I'm just gonna dispel it to minimize the damage to me but if he has a 1900 attack monster, which he shouldn't, Sounds like I'm going to be living another turn. This might just go on top of his deck, which is fine. That's okay. Um, that is literally the best we can do, given the circumstances. We're just trying to survive one more turn. We're just trying to get one more draw here. Um, I'm still so okay with... Even if this is a loss, I'm still so okay with that. Just because... You know, a hot streak's a hot streak. It's got to end at some point. But I'm not going to give up so quickly because all I have to do is draw into a monster, and this is just donezo. Ah, yes! Okay. Woo! Okay, you are going down, my friend. Showing once again while Rear Roku is so good. He might have something um, hidden in that face-down card that might ruin my day, but you know what? I really want to bash in this sort of deep seated and keep it on top of his deck so he cannot draw the cards he needs to. Magician Circle. I love, man, all I needed was that monster and then my play gets big. Oh. Is that a trap jammer? Sphere Karibo is so. Good. That's awesome for him. Okay. So we're keeping that sort of deep seated on top of his deck, which is exactly the weakness that that card has. I love it. We, man, like oh, I love, I love it when a plan comes together and we exploit something oh wow switcheroo guys so good let's see what um he pulled i have this funny thing with switcheroo where i will more consistently pull the exact same card i had right okay this is scary will he get it we will find out he does not luckily for us he can attack into the blue dragon summoner but that's not a problem for me that's a good thing for me Ah, such a good game. I think we got this one. Might be speaking before the fat lady sings, but I feel good. He's top decking. He didn't have a trap that um, he activated when we attacked when he really needed it. We got a sphere creepo. I don't want a sphere creepo, guys. That, that card is so good. Gonna summon the rogue doll, remind him what he did when he attacked that blue dragon summoner. And I think we're going to win the game right here. We have a trap jammer, so no, none of his traps are going to do jack. Oh man, what a good game. I am so happy to have a third game. The last game of this video be that good. Really exciting. I was, I was a bit skeptical. Oh, 100 points left. I miscalculated. Um, what I was going to say is I was a bit skeptical about how this video was going to go. Uh, I was feeling a little like, hmm, I was feeling a little off, but I am pleasantly surprised every game went well, and yeah, it went great. I'm going to just set an Arsenal Summoner for safety purposes. I don't know what from. And attack and win the game. Good game, other player. That was a lot of fun. Um... All of all three of those players. Those were such good games. So much fun. I had a blast. I hope you did too. 
Thank you so much for watching my video, as always. I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take it easy.